back here on ColumbiaCougars.com and Mediacom Channel 22, the Columbia Cougars Coaches Show. Head coach Mike Davis, and congratulations on a fine regular season, obviously, and then you go through the postseason. Yeah. Uh, conference play undefeated. You win the conference tournament. Uh, we talked about how, how much fun it was for the, for the girls to be able to climb the ladder. You were pretty good with the ladder yourself there. And Susan, uh, expecting you to be up on the ladder some more. Get the never, clean. never gets old. It's never. always fun. <laughs> it's uh, got to be. Uh, obviously, a, a, a great celebration, especially after you, you played in the championship game the yeah. year before and you, and you lose a tough one to William Woods. Uh, but we mentioned this the eighth time that the program's been to the national tournament, third time in a row. Uh, talk a little bit about that tournament and that atmosphere in, in Jackson, Tennessee. I know we've talked how the town yeah. is similar to a, a college yes. town of Columbia, Missouri. You know, I, I tell you one thing, to go back to the game the other night that was really special, I know, for myself and our coaching staff and our players who are here, we had so many of our past players, ex-Lady Cougars, there. Uh, you know, we had the two wits. We had yeah. Rachel Oswald, uh, Jessica Wilkerson, uh, Leanne Fossum, yeah, uh, who have been here several years ago, yeah. Courtney Jorgensen. We had seven yeah. to ten of those young ladies there. And, uh, you know, that's such fun when they come back and, and they're actually still a part of things. So and, and to build on that point, a lot of them were on the court as well, kind of at the end of the game watching things. And, of course, you know, you could see in the back of their minds a little bit like, dang, I wish I could have done well, that. But it's the celebrating you know, I, with them. I was just going to say that it, it is such a carryover from one group to the next. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, you say pass the baton or whatever you sure. want to call it. But uh, they're still a great part of that. And, and the tradition that, you know, to the tournament that we've been so fortunate with, uh, a great group. In the past, it's helped us get there. Uh, Jackson is a fun town. We've really we've been there enough. We've developed some really good friends. Actually, uh, some people who have been our hosts there come up and play in our golf tournament right. uh, every year. Actually, one of them won the female women's long drive contest. Now he just so happened to be a guy who won the women's <laughs> long drive contest. But uh, you know, some great friends that, that come up and are a part of things when we're down there. So I think that makes it fun. Uh, Omen Arena, great venue to play in. Uh, and really, um, Jackson is an old NAIA town. That sounds funny to say. Sure. But uh, I think they have been around NAIA basketball for years and years in that Mid-South area and Mid-South region. So they really appreciate it. Uh, women's basketball, of course, in the state of Tennessee. Let's see, is there some coach there who's pretty mm, yeah, good, maybe, you know? Yeah. In, in Coach Summit, yeah. Around. So yeah. there's lots and lots of history there. Sure. Actually, I want to say it was about her 600th or 700th win. I forget which was actually in the arena where we play. They have a banner for it. So there's a great love for women's basketball uh, there. You know, I, I think we have been uh, fortunate to make it a bunch. We have won a few ball games there, yeah. but we haven't had that deep run, you know, that we really uh, want to try and get done. And to be honest, it's uh, something that's been a disappointment to me that we haven't made that deep run at the tournament. You know, whether this is the year or not, uh, we'll find out. I, I think for this group, you know, a couple of the keys, when we rebound well, we're pretty good. And when we shoot the ball well, then we can play with about anybody. So I think those are two keys that we need to make sure we take care of and go in there healthy and, uh, and see what happens. Now the ranking, the final season ranking, you move from 14 to, to number 11. Walk us through the, the process. Uh, there's 32 teams in 32 the tournament. Teams. And, and you know, obviously when the NCAA was 64, mm -hmm. but 32, same for the men. Uh, in Kansas City at Municipal Auditorium, but how does it lay out as far as uh, you know your bracket situation? Do you find out where you go? The seedings will actually come out tonight, mm -hmm. and we have a watch party right. at uh, Southwell Complex, and I'm sure we'll have a great crowd there. I think the women's side of it is announced from 6 to 6.30. The men's side of it is from 7 to 7.30 uh, this evening. Uh, and basically, they seed you and go down through. Um, it is based a lot off of the last regular season ranking. Mm -hmm. It is not based completely off of that for the simple reason they try and move some teams in same conferences where they're not sure. playing each other or someone if you have played during the regular season, you're not going to play the first round normally. Right. So there, there's a little bit of movement right there. Um, you know, with us at the number 11 spot, we're probably looking at playing a team roughly in that 23, 24, 25 area uh, in the rankings right now. So those will all be good teams. Uh, they actually divide it into quarters. Mm -hmm. So you have four one seeds, four twos. That's we're right. probably looking at about a three seed mm -hmm. is what we're looking at. So um, very good teams. They're all good teams. That's why they're there. And, and I think the key to it is if you're able to get in and, and be who you are and play the way you're capable of, then you're going to have success. Most definitely. And the way the, the team has uh, performed down the stretch here, um, this might be that team that makes that deep run for you. I mean, well, I, I think one thing that's fun for me with this group, uh, you know, we're at number 11 right now in the national rankings, and this is the highest we've been. And I think that tells me we've been improving and moving up sure. the whole time. You know, it's one thing to start out 10 or 11 and you drop back a little, you move up a little, and you're kind of right. stagnant. But this has been a team that's definitely been on the upswing, you know, throughout the course of this year. 
and uh, it's fun to go into the tournament on a roll with 19 wins in a row. I think that is only a plus for you. Uh, but again, when you get there, so many teams leave, and we talk for girls about this, lots of teams leave and they'll say, you know, if we'd have just played the way we had all year long, we'd have been fine. We'd have won that game. And, uh, you know, that's the key to it is getting into that comfort zone and being who you are and doing those things. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is a team that I, I hope can get that done. And, the, and you've got that mix of players. While we talk a lot about the outstanding freshmen and the younger mm -hmm. players that you've got, you've still got a good core group of girls since this is the third time in a row that have been mm -hmm on the team and get the drill and know what it's like. To, it's, it's one thing to go during the regular season and play uh, tournament games on the road against yeah. imp opponents, but it, it gets amped up a notch when you're talking, this is the national yeah, tournament. Well, you know, don't say this too loudly, <laughs> but uh, when we went down to play Freed Hardeman earlier in the year, and actually Freed is just located about 30 minutes from Jackson. Wow. So we stayed in Jackson and worked out there and did those things. And we went over to Omen Arena to get our new players into it. And we kind of had to break in Okay, don't say that too loudly, <laughs> but uh, to get in there to get our players on the court to see things and, and just, you know, it won't be new the first time we're there uh, yeah. for them. But, uh, you know, we can't complain about our new players as well. I think we were led the other night by our two freshmen yeah. in scoring. So, um, you know, I don't know how much it will have to do with experience or this or that. I think sometimes it's just... Are you ready to go play and believe you can get it done? Let's go shoot the ball and uh, make it happen. And yep. uh, the Cougars, again, congratulations on a great regular season. It's been a fun ride at, at Southwell Complex, and we wish you the best of luck. And I know all the information Cindy will have up on Cindy Fadi, uh, SID at CC online as far as uh, links to travel information and, and sure. folks that want to make the trip down to, to uh, Jackson. Uh, can uh, get all the information that they need right there on the website. I think we're going to have a good group follow us down, and some people that don't, hey, if we win a couple of ball games, come down later. Come down later. Thank you very much again, Coach, and uh, good luck in the national tournament. Hey, it's been great, Cosmo. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, we'll have you back on here in a couple more weeks, and hopefully we'll have a big fat trophy right here in the middle. Make of us all happy. That'd be great. Coach Mike Davis of the Lady Cougars, uh, off to the national tournament for the third season in a row, a great season for Columbia College at uh, 28 and 5, and they finished the regular season in conference at 16 and 0 on a 19 game winning streak off to the national tournament. Thanks for watching another episode next week here on ColumbiaCougars.com.